Hydrilla was introduced into Florida in the 1950s, uh, they think from the aquarium trade. It's an invasive aquatic plant that displaces native vegetation. It alters biodiversity. It has a fast vegetative growth. Uh, it clogs waterways, uh, canals. It uh, interferes with recreation, particularly boating, uh, fishing, and even hunting in some aspects. It's pretty much distributed in most of the lake systems and spring systems in the state. Um, the uh, state of Florida spends quite a, uh, quite a bit of money, about $12 million a year, just in controlling it in um, public water bodies. Historically, it's been controlled using mechanical control and several herbicides. And really, uh, I guess in the last 15 years, uh, there's been concern because two of the most commonly used herbicides, uh, Fluoridone and most recently Endothol, have now shown resistance. About 1997, uh, I was invited by the USDA to investigate uh, a situation that occurred there where there was this midge, the aquatic midge, unlike most midges that feed on decaying organic matter as larvae, this midge is kind of an anomaly in that its larvae feed on living plant tissue. Now, what it does is that the larvae get into the shoot tip of hydrilla and basically kills it, and then the plant's response is to produce side branches. It prevents the plant hydrilla from topping out, and when hydrilla tops out, causes these mats, that's what causes the problems. So what our goal was to look at the midge, see if we can combine it with a particular new herbicide, which again kind of uh, stunts the growth of hydrilla and causes branching, which is again, very beneficial to the midge because it creates breeding sites for the larvae. And at the same time, we also wanted to see if, if we can take the, the whole midge and herbicide complex, add a, a native disease organism, which has been around for several years, since the 1970s, and it's pretty uh, uh, damaging to hydrilla. And we discovered that when you put the midge and the fungus together, it actually increases the effect of the fungus. So we've got like the herbicide creates the branching, increasing the midge population, and then with the fungus, you have like a devastating effect on hydrilla. We're in a situation where we're never gonna eradicate hydrilla. What our goal is to hopefully make it uh, kind of a, a minor component of our aquatic vegetation and just have some there so that everybody's kind of happy with it, uh, the, the fishermen, the hunters, um, the recreational boaters, where it doesn't interfere with their, uh, their props and so on when they're, when they're going along.